day. Hmm. I just, I don't know how these events happen. I guess you just have to wait. It's in Shit's Shimp. <laughs> I like those question marks. I wish it said a year or something. I imagine it's when this emperor dies. I don't know how old he is, but I imagine it's just a scripted event. Which is probably most likely. Do, 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 do. Dun 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry guys. I'm so sorry. Why does nothing have to happen? What's that song? Time goes by so slowly, so slowly, time goes by. Why can't we just declare? I just want to declare. What is this over here? Unemployment. So you're unemployed then, are you? We have three unemployed farmers. My heart bleeds. Let's take a look at our battle plans and how to actually make a battle plan. This is pretty fucking cool if we can. So we'll call this the uh, Operation Nagagata. Nag 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 Nagata. Nag 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 what is it called? Naginata. That's it. I think. Operation Naginata. Naga. Nata. I think that's how you spell it. Right, so, new plan. Oh my god, this is bloody like Hearts of Iron. How did I never notice this? Uh, it's literally it's Hearts of Iron. It's literally it's that same thing. It really is. Okay, so we'll go uh, from Kyoto. How do I draw it? Can I draw it? I don't know how you do that. We'll do it later. Right, so we can pass some other reforms now. Important ships. Naval. Uh, well. This is entertaining. Maybe industrial constructions or something? I suppose that might work. Get some kind of industry going or something. That's 8,000 points, so not too long. Hmm. I'll just wait for that to roll on by. There we go. So start uh, the construction of an industry. So we're sent to be sent there. Not be too much longer now. So what are we building then? We're building a cement factory apparently. Interesting. Well, cement factories are basically the basis of well, basis of all of the industries for the most part. So that makes sense. Um, should be able to get quite a good industry going. Yeah, see, there's already a lot of unemployed people. So that's good. At least we'll start with a good industry. 
which is something the Shogun do not have. Uh, hey, it'll help us with our rankings as well. Boost us up there. I just want to take over so I can invade China. Is the Heavenly Kingdom still around? My god, you're fighting. What happened? Why did you have such weak militaries? What the hell happened? Okay, good, our um, industry has been constructed. Dun, 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 dun. Over here in Osaka. Dun, 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 dun. So we'll increase the higher priority. There we go. So we'll subsidize it until it starts making cash. It probably won't make cash for quite a while. So, how are you guys been? Good, I hope. Yep. This is the live. This is not merely fantasy. Foreign smugglers. Life needs. Yes, we'll type out. <laughs> I did not think we'd be waiting this long. I should have probably started this about now instead of just recording from the very beginning. Yeah. Totally my bad, but hey, you guys want to see games and this is gameplay. This is pure unadulterated gameplay. You can't handle the gameplay. You think you can, but you can't. Yes. It is a sight enough. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Let's read the newspaper. The rise of Hanover. Following Russia's decline, Hanover assumes higher standard among the nations of the world by a central position. What? Hanover is a great power? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? Oh! Christ! Oh, son, you just got wrecked! What is this? This is brilliant. What the fuck is going on here? What is this war? We have the, uh, Prussian-Russian war. I love how that sounds. Cut Russia down to size. Oh my god! I want to be able to interact with the world! Let me invade Russia! You got Ukrainian nationalists! Why did you have Ukrainian nationalists? You're all nationalists! Oh my god! This is how you get hyped, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you get hyped. You don't do anything for about 40 years. And then the... Come on, just let me invade, please. Alright, so it's 1860, usually the year when shit happens, but yeah, not gonna happen now, is it? I guess we just have to westernise, I guess that's just legitimately the thing we have to do. Which is kind of annoying, it's got a little way, uh, a little way yet to go. So, yeah. Okay. I'll take some prestige though. That's nice. Remove the first minister. No. <sighs> so we're at fifty-two point six literacy, which is good. Ugh, so stretching. My back really gets like cramps if I sit for a long time still. So. Um... Oh my god. Oh, the Euro Free States. Oh, I've never even seen you before. This is beautiful. Um, I think we're going to say we're going to get naval bases. We'll do that. It gives us, say, 15. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, why can't we interact with the world? This is like, oh, God damn, look at that beautiful thing. The Cossacks, Hetamanente, whatever you say, Hetamanente. Oh, my God. I've not seen this. This is actually really interesting to watch.
Uh, I just want to see Russia break into a thousand pieces, but I can't interact with it, so that sucks dick. Um, the war apparently is over. Oh my god. <laughs> and then there's an international crisis over Poland. Oh, if this kicks off, Russia's not going to come out well. They're going to be absolutely devastated. Oh, and Prussia's back in Poland. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad for Russia. Yeah, Siberian nationalists. Jesus. Okay. And uh, Mexico. You did okay. Um, I guess the British signed the agreement where all the lands north would go to Britain, all the lands south would go to America. Not that it matters, Britain had more lands anyway, so kind of very bad. Uh, yep. Ottoman Tripoli and Tripoli. That's interesting. I've not seen that nation before. Serencia. Wow. Poland just got released. Jesus Christ. Russia's getting devastated. Jesus. I feel so bad for the Russians right now. This is actually ridiculously bad for them. This is game changingly bad. Uh, can we get the naval bases yet? Not yet. Okay. Well, at least once we get that, we'll go up to 85%, and then maybe one more 15% or something like that would be westernized. Nice. That'd be fantastic. Ah, nice, lovely coffee. Imported medicines. Meh. I want to see Ukraine. I want to see the Ukraine break free. That would be ridiculously good. I want to break free. <sighs> the Euro Free State, though, that's interesting. And this is Tatarstan. You have such a good population. Well, it's a fair population over here, anyway. Euro Perm. Tatar Perm. Yeah, what's the Russian military like? Yeah, he doesn't have a military. So did he get cut down to size? Because if Russia got Russia got cut down to size, he can't raise a military for five years. He's going to be devastated. He can't do anything about this. Mongol patriots, are you kidding me? Yeah, this is the decline of Russia. If this land breaks away in the east, we can totally take that and conquer it. That would be beautiful. We could colonize... Oh, Jesus Christ, the possibilities is just making me wet. <laughs> uh, you love it really dirty people. Don't even deny it. I just love that Poland broke free and it's in the sphere of uh, the Prussians. Alright, so France has got 200 industry. Yeah. Okay, now can we get our naval bases? Um, still? Not yet. We can get them in a second. There we go. So we're now up to 85%, so that's good. Uh, we'll start the construction of our first naval base. We'll build in uh, Kyoto. Uh, Kyoto or Osaka? Osaka. Osaka. We'll build it in uh, Kyoto. It makes more sense to have it facing outwards. Okay. How are they still fighting? I don't understand. The Altai Union, the Siberian Republic. Bloody hell. Oh, why is there no Ukraine? I wanted to see Ukraine. That is impressive, though. If I was China, I'd tell you that. I would not hesitate. But they're busy, so, yeah. Well, some definitely interesting things are occurring, ladies and gentlemen. So, that's something to look at. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Well, we've only, like, one or two more reforms to pass, and we should be good. 
Who is this? Belarusian nationalist. That's impressive. Well, the thing is, if something broke off like here and something like those three provinces, that would cut off Russia from the rest of... Oh, from the eastern side of Russia. That would be powerful. Well, you know what? If we can actually um, gain our independence fairly soon, we could declare war on Russia while they're weak and take Alaska. Which would give us a stepping stone. Oh, that is a... That's an oddly powerful Confederate States of America. Uh, that's the most powerful Confederate States of America I've ever seen, to be honest. This is extremely strange. Mexico should join them. If Mexico join them, that'd be ridiculously good. Wow. I might as well have just played Hawaii for the amount of gameplay that's going on. This is commentary for the most part. That is pretty powerful though, I've not seen that before. Why did Kansas and Nebraska join, I wonder? I just wish somebody had back the Confederate States, you know, just make it so it's actually a fair, I don't know, something interesting. So they always lose if nobody backs them. In Mexico, you have 50 military, you have almost the same amount as the United States, you could totally declare war, you still have all this land as well. I just, I just want to take control of him, I just want to be, do it, go, go. She says attack, the Emperor commands thou. Yeah. How's that industry? Still doing shite. Um, I'll just employ more people then, just expand it, make it bigger. Making bigger, uh, things bigger always works out better, then you know. Don't you know what the word is? What's this? The fort has been built, Osaka. Uh, we're at war? No, we're not at war. New political party. Huh. What's this? After a recent succession crisis of the Shogun, there are too many opposing factions with their Bakufu. We take steps to ensure these men are retired forcibly. Oh. Oh! Yes! Finally! Fucking hell, finally. Revere the Emperor and expel the barbarians. This is a slogan chanted by Neo Confucianist activists reacting to the Tokugawa Shogunate's opening of Japan to foreigners. So it happened in 1865. There have been growing reports of violence all over the country, primarily against foreign visitors and statesmen but also against the Shogun itself. Each incident chips away at Tokugawa, control over the dynamos, and erodes relations with the Western powers. Japan must not descend into anarchy. Ah, oh, do we get to pass our thing? Yes, we do. Finally, some action. Okay, so we're going to order the expulsion of the barbarians. There we go. Since the assertion of the Tokugawa Shogun, the role of the Empire has been confined to that of the figurehead. We, Japan... We lead Japan, yet we do not. Recently, the leadership of the Shogun has come into question. His increase in inability to deal with foreigners is a way that shows any manner the leadership compels the Emperor to act. We've all wrapped the Shogun's permission. We shall send out the call to the people in our own names, demanding they rise up and proud the foreigners that the Shogun will not. There we go. Take that, you bitch. How about that and a slice of cheesecake, son? I'm just saying random things now, to be honest. <laughs> uh, this naval base is going to take a fucking long time to build, holy shit. Alright, so we'll keep going here then. Uh, reforms. So we've got 7,000 points ish. Uh, we need some really high level reform and then we'll be free. Dun 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 um, something that's 15% would be brilliant. Take us to westernization with one my bell sweep. Uh, yes, tax inspection. So we'll just have to wait. Oh, hello. I don't know how you say that. Is this Sakurabandamon? Incident. The Shogun's chief minister has been assassinated by a Ronin samurai outside the very gates of the Edo castle. Though the Ronin were either cut down or committed some 
Seppuku. I mean, that's ritual suicide. A manifesto found that bodies made it clear that it was reaction to the recent purge instigated by the chief minister against agitators within the shogunate. This is a clear sign that upheaval against Seppuku has reached an unacceptable point and for Seppuku has begun a compromise policy of Kobu Gatai, a union of the Bakufu and the imperial court. So most of this is a sign of further weakness. Um, so we start losing prestige, but we lose militancy and shit, so, yeah. But we're getting there. Hmm. Right. Timber. So we just need to wait until we can get this, and then war will erupt. Okay, so we can build another brigade, so we should do that. Uh, we'll build a, another regular brigade, why not? Uh, it's been quite a while since we built another brigade, so... Yeah. If we have the Daimyo's, uh, Daimyo's backing us, we should easily be able to conquer Japan. Well, the Shogunate. Hmm. The death of- oh yes, here we go. There are some who believe the Emperor Komi was assassinated, delivered a handkerchief laid to smallpox, perhaps by radicals who fear the possibility of a compromise between the Bakufu and the Imperial Court. No matter the truth, the death of the Emperor has placed the young Emperor Meiji upon the Imperial throne and eliminated any chance of compromise. We welcome the new Emperor. Here we go, guys, here we go. Overthrow the Bakufu. So that would, um, instigate war. I think I'm going to wait until we can westernize. If we westernize, we'll dominate him. So that's fantastic. Uh. So, I don't know. Are we wrong to wait? I think we should just wait a little bit longer. I mean, if we can, it's good. If we can westernize and civilize, then, yeah. Or do we just go for it? Uh, I'm not too sure. I mean, we'll get there fairly soon. We've only got to wait a little bit longer. Hmm. Um, you know what, fuck it, let's go for this. Let's let's show the Shogun what for. Okay, so we're going to uh, send out the call to overthrow the Bakufu. There we go, oh no, we're... Oh, there, thank fucking Christ, that the clans have joined us. The time has come to restore Emperor Meiji to power. For too long, the Imperial Cult has been forced to remain but a figurehead, with central forward to remain with the tyrannical Tokugawa clan. Japan has one ruler, one ruler to bring them all into the darkness and in the darkness bind them. An emperor that can lead the nation into the future. Let us send our forces to Kyoto to seize the Imperial Palace and set the coup in motion. That was a very racist. <laughs> I should not do that. <laughs> I can't stop that. <laughs> Right, we'll split the army in half and into two twenty-one thousand. Right. So we cannot let Kyoto fall. We cannot. But we need to take Ido. Okay. So move on uh, Ido. Uh... They're going to attack here on the 27th of July. So we're going to wait until the 26th and we're going to start moving in here. here. Oh, we're going to reinforce our comrades in arms. If they can get there in time, we will be able to turn the battle. There we go. Instantly turn the battle. That is a victory. We shall move towards their capital. We shall move towards Edo. Uh, should we move over here to take out this army? I think we should. Right. Let's cut them down. Ah. Good, we can cut them down fairly easily then. There we go. Starting the engagement. Move to Edo. Uh, they do need reinforcements quite desperately. Um, we'll start moving. Come on. We may lose this battle if our troops can't arrive in time. Oh my god, we lost them all? It's a little bit bullshit. 
Ah, oh, shit. Oh, they're friendly? No, they're not friendly. Okie dokie. Right, we need to take Edo. We need to take Edo now. Oh, we can mobilize. Shit, I forgot about mobilization. Shit. Ah, uh, that's totally my bad. Oh, I should have fucking mobilized. How could I forget? Ah, uh, I fucked up. We should be able to take Edo, though. Oh, but they're sieging Kyoto. Oh, God. Oh, thank you, Christ. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. I may have fucked up. Oh, dear. Okay, we've got troop numbers, so that's good for us. We'll move back onto Kyoto. Good, we're being reinforced. We need to take... Right, we'll, we'll hold Kyoto. We'll hold. Actually, no, we'll help out our fellows there. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, so we should have mobilised at the start, but that was my bad. There we go. <laughs> that could have gone badly. That could have gone pretty badly. Yeah! Okay, guys, move over there, move over there, move over there. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Okay. This is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Oh, god damn it! That's annoying. That's extremely annoying. Ah, uh, fuck's sake. Alright, I guess we'll assault them. Okay, we can crush that army. Okay. Can we wipe it out? There we go. Wiped out that army. We'll quickly take these guys out and then we'll move back onto Edo. There we go. So we'll march on Edo. Uh, this could have gone really badly wrong, but that's what happens when you forget to mobilise. I'm so not used to mobilising, I'm used to EU4, we just don't. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Um, we're getting close. There we go, we should be able to take Edo pretty quickly now. Uh, try and reinforce our troops over here. Or our allies, I should say. Oh dear. That was my bad. This could have gone a lot better, but that's what happens. Okay, we got Edo anyway now. To speed up time. There we go, the Meiji Restoration. Inherit Shogunate Japan. Boom! We have united! We are Imperial Japan! At long bloody last. Ah, there we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Our future begins now. Um, so we'll put tax rates up here. Tax, 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 tax. Uh, education costs us a shit ton. Um, what's going on then? Astral Union. Oh, Jesus. Russia, you got wrecked. And you are now a different Russia. You are a democracy. Russia is a democracy. What the fuck has gone on? Fukuoka Ah, uh, wow. Okay. Ooh. Gain bonding from Pure Japan. Uh. Ah. Okay, so we'll give that. There we go. So we need to rebuild the military, but we're going to westernize. Oh, not. I guess I got that one wrong. Okay, fair enough. Um, what's our population now? So our population is almost 30 million people. That's ridiculously good. So we've got a lot of clergy over here. We'll start in Kojin clergy here too. Uh, we need to rebuild the military to be quite good. But we're going to build naval bases because we need naval bases. 
we're going to need a lot of them. So I think we're going to start constructing all our naval bases and then uh, we'll probably cut the session here. And then when we come back we'll be able to go ahead with our manifest destiny. Fukushima. There we go. There we go, gentlemen. And we'll be able to attack the uh, democracy side. Well, the democracy of... Yes. Hello. If I started... I don't have a troop shot, which is unfortunate. Uh, but I'm going to start... No, I can't, actually. I'm still uncivilized, so interesting. Okay, gentlemen. This has been Imperial Japan so far. We finally took over Japan. So that's something. We have a few years to uh, really get our shit together. The United States won and they're attacking Mexico again. Poor Mexico. Is there anything crazy that's happened since? Besides the collapse of Russia and, like, democracy. Yeah. We need to get to Africa. We need to get there. Okay, but we need to take China first. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been me. I hope to see you next time on the adventures of Imperial Japan and Co. So, from me to you and you to me, goodbye. And see you next time. Remember to subscribe. That'd be good. Bye.